this video is for statistics, uh, section or chapter 5.3, chapter 5, section 3, and specifically for question 18. By the way, this uh, question is very similar, almost exact, to example number 9 in section 5.3. These are often referred to as quota problems. So how many uh, samples of a particular system do I need in order to get a minimum number of results? So they're called quota problems. And example number 9 from section 5.3 is just like this problem. Uh, but let's work through this specific problem. An archaeologist uh, excavation at Burnt Mesa Pueblo showed about 10% of the flake stone objects were finished arrow points. So the probability in this case, that's the first uh, thing we got to figure out. The probability is 10%. Uh, and then how many flake stone objects need to be found to be 90% sure? So the quota that we're looking for is 90%. That's the quota we need. And um, uh, at least one is a finished arrow point. And then they tell us this hint. Um, to tell us that, uh, remember that we can use this 1 minus the probability of 0 a formula. So as a reminder from our book, uh, we're told on page 235 that the at least one formula, the probability of an event at least one, is the same as 1 minus the probability of 0. There's also... Um, a couple other ones. There's a probability of at least two, there's a probability of at least three, and so forth. Uh, but let's just look at this probability of at least one. So in these examples, uh, we're using the binary distribution. So what we need to do is uh, use our calculators or the back of the book, uh, but you have your calculator, so use your calculator uh, to figure out the binomial uh, CDF. So you need the, that's uh, continual distribution function for n, p, and x. And n is the number of samples. In this case, that's what we're trying to figure out. That's the quota that we need in order to get there, the number that we need. p is the probability. In this case, it's uh, 10%, so 0.1. And uh, because uh, we're looking about this value for x, the probability is 0. The probability of x equals 0. So x's um, desired value in this case is 0. Okay, so what we have to do is put in different values of n to get 1 minus, that 1 comes from the at least formula, 1 minus the binomial CDF of n, we don't know. We have to try different things, 10% and 0 uh, to get this 0.9. So let me pull up my calculator. We had a blank screen. So what I would do is do 1 minus and then I want the distribution menu. So second vars to get to the distribution, that blue distribution, second vars pulls up the distribution menu. And then I scroll all the way down to the bottom till I find the binomial CDF, binomial CDF. So I click that and then I'm going to make some guesses. So I'm going to start with 10. And uh, remember the trials, I don't know. That's what I'm guessing, the n trials. The probability is 10%, so 0.1. And the x value is 0. That's what the formula says to use. And then I click Paste. And I get this in my calculator. If you have an older version of a TI-84 or you have a TI-83, you will not get that uh, Paste menu. You'll hit the binomial uh, CDF, and it'll show up with this first parentheses. And then remember, it's N, and then P, and then X. So you have to type in the 10, the 10% 10 and the zero. So then I hit enter. And at 10 uh, um, trials, I get 0.65. So one minus the probability at 10 trials uh, 10% and they're equaling zero is 65%. That's way too low. So I'm going to try again. So I push my arrow up and copy the whole thing so I didn't have to retype it, but you could retype it. And then I'm going to change it to 15 trials. So one five. So I'm going to go up by fives. Still not high enough because that's only 79%.
So I'm going to go up and copy again. And I'm going to try 20 trials. I'm going to go up by 5. And I hit enter. And I get 87%. I'm getting closer. So then I'm going to try 25 trials because I go up by 5. You don't have to go up by 5, but I am. And I got 92%, right, which is too high. So I know it's somewhere between 20 trials and 22, 5 trials. And so I'm going to do 22, put them in the middle. And that gives me the 90% that I want. So I would also try 23, and I get 91%. That's too high. So my answer is 22, because when I do 22 trials, 1 minus the probability of it being 0 uh, gives me that 90%, uh, which is what they're asking about. Because in the problem, it says to be found at least 90% sure. Now, if it asks you for 80% sure, well, you would use um, this way up at the top. If it asks for 80% sure, you might do 15, right? But it's asking about 90% sure, so you need to do 22. So I go down to uh, here, and I say 22 trials. Uh, so 22 objects and submit my answer, and it tells me uh, that that's correct. Okay, so if you have any questions, uh, please let me know.